Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sutnewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In 2020, I hope to make really great progress with the request for video list because it's very lengthy. And I appreciate it. This way, it keeps me flush with ideas for videos. In this particular video, I'm going to teach you guys how to watermark your videos in LumaFusion. Now, I realize this is very similar to something I've done in the past. However, in the previous video, I used an app called Sketch. That app is defunct, so you can no longer get it in the App Store. If you have it on your iPad and iPhone already, don't dump it because you'll never get it back. So with that, we are going to learn how to use Sketchbook to put a watermark in our videos in LumaFusion. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. After you've downloaded Sketchbook from the App Store, let's go ahead and launch it. Once you've launched it, it'll ask to have access to your photo library. Go ahead and allow the app to do so. So being that we want to drop a watermark in LumaFusion, we need to work with a green screen. So the first thing that we want to do is make the screen green. So let's go ahead and go to the paint bucket icon that is going to be on the top toolbar. And let's go to the color wheel on the right hand side of the screen and we are going to choose green. Now it's not absolutely green, but this is going to be absolutely fine for what we need it for. And then you just touch the screen and that's going to turn it green. So now what we wanna do is go over to the left hand side of the screen where they have all different kinds of writing tools to work with. And we are going to choose the pen and that is the fourth icon down from the top. So we want to change the color now to white and you just want to scroll through the colors here until you come to white and that will make the color white. Right now the thickness of your pen is going to be at 10 points. If you want to make it larger or smaller, right alongside the toolbar of the writing items there are these little sliders and when you slide it up and down you're going to see a little dot that gets bigger or smaller depending on which way that you're moving the bar. So get it to where you think you want your writing to be at and I think right about I think about probably 13 is going to be good for what I want to use it for. Now, the watermark that I want to put on my videos is just my initials. So I'll go ahead and just write my initials. If you're not happy with it, there is an arrow back button on the uppermost toolbar all the way to the left. And you just hit that and it will erase your last action. That looks good. What I'm going to do now is take a quick snapshot of the screen and that is going to deliver this picture to my camera roll. And all you have to do is hit your home button and the lock button at the same time and that will take a picture of your screen. So let's go ahead and hit the home button and we will launch LumaFusion from here. To retrieve that from your photos, all you want to do is hit the file folder on the upper left hand side of the screen and go to photos. And now we'll go to recently added and it will be at the very top here and we just grab it and drag it down into the video. Let's pull it out a little longer. We'll double click it so that we can get into the edit window. The first thing that we want to do is hit cropping and we are going to crop out all of the stuff that we do not want to appear like the toolbars and the bottom of it that looks good so now let's go to size and position and we are just going to shrink the size of this okay that looks good now what we want to do is go back to color and effects and we want to hit the key for chroma key choose green screen now we want to take this little water dropper icon and just press and hold it with our Apple Pencil or your finger until this appears. Now you want to drag this over and just drop it onto that green. Remember I said it didn't have to be perfectly green and this is why. Just drop it on this green and that will recognize that color as your green screen. And see how it perfectly removed all of that from your colors? The reason that I like to use an off green anyway is because sometimes there could be something that's green in your videos. And when you're using green screen, if you're using that green too, it can affect the video. So I do like to use something green that's not perfectly green. And in order to get this to look its very best, we just want to dial in some of these different ranges here just so that it's looking crisp and fresh. Let's go back to frame and fit. 
And what I want to do is bring this to the corner of the video, and I want to make this a little smaller. And we can also drop the opacity of this so that it looks more like a watermark instead of a logo. Like right about there looks good. But let's say that we wanted to have this, let's go back to our main video. Let's say that we wanted to have this cover our entire video. The only thing that we have to do is just stretch this watermark for as long as we'd like to have it appear. So we'll go ahead and play this. And boom, that watermark just pops up right in the video. Instead of popping in and popping out very abruptly, of course we can have this fade in and fade out of the video. Let's go ahead and double tap that to get there. So let's go to blending. Make sure we're all the way back to the very beginning. We're going to drop a keyframe right here and bring the opacity down to zero. We're going to forward about half a second drop another keyframe and what we're going to do is bring that opacity up again to about 40 percent go all the way to the end of the video bring it back once again hit another keyframe go all the way to the end and drop it down to zero and we'll watch it fade in and fade out and there you go that's how you do the watermark fade in fade out and that's libby isn't she just the most beautiful cat in the world? I know she is. And that's how simple it is to add a watermark to your videos in LumaFusion. If you have any requests for videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll add them to my list and hopefully I can get to them just as soon as I can. I thank you so much for joining me and until next time, wear your sunblock.